this will probably be close to the last update for summer stuff. Everything's starting to slowly die off um, in this weather. Although today we're having a temperature of 37, it is getting colder here. Um, so I'm going to take you through and show you what's happening in the system and where I'm at and what I'm doing. We will start off with the fish and see how they're going and hopefully I can show you the size of my fish at the moment. Alright, let's have a look at these guys. Fish are doing quite well. Um, getting big as you can see. Getting some nice big fish. These are silver perch. Um, there's 70 silver perch in here. Well, there should be 70. Uh, next month I will separate these into two fish tanks um, to throw them out so I'll half them um, doing well eat and feed fine um, so that's uh, looking at the fish um, I'm using a high protein fish feed um, that I brought when I got the fingerlings so I've still got probably at least another month worth of this and then I'll change them over to my other high protein fish food that I buy from a feed store. Um, this stuff here is um, floats on the top. My other stuff that I got sinks to the bottom, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when I feed the fish. Alright, what I'm going to do is we'll walk through this stuff slowly. I'm going to pick um, all the veggies as we go along. Uh, because I've run out of cucumbers inside and I've run out of tomatoes inside so we'll pick them as we go so this first um, grow bed with the sump tank underneath now the sump tank I'm running some goldfish in there there's probably about 15 goldfish nice sized uh, goldfish uh, there's one there there's a few more. Um, they did breed this year. I got three or four little ones out of them, which was, um, yeah, a bit different. Um, this grow bed here, the cucumber plants are almost finished. Um, there's still a few on here that I'll pick. There's one just here. I'll pick him off. Uh, it did well. I was quite surprised that it did so well um, under this 90% shade cloth and cucumbers I was quite happy with. Um, I'll probably end up pulling these out in the next week or so um, and get the bed ready for get the bed ready for um, winter plants to go in there. So that's just ones I've picked off that. So yeah, this bed will go well and is performing pretty good. It's got the lava, small lava rock in it. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, second bed's got capsicums in that I'll probably leave in for winter. I've just sprayed them with eco oil. There was a little bit of, um, you can see on there, bugs have been at it. So I've just given them a spray with eco oil. Uh, Ego oil is safe for aquaponics as long as you use it sparingly. Um, I've had no problems with it, so I'm happy with it. Yeah, so those capsicums are not doing too fine. Um, yeah, I haven't really got much off them, but they've seen to in the last week sort of really taken off and starting to grow pretty fast. So we'll see what happens with them. More capsicums in this third bed, same thing. They were getting a bit um, eaten, so I've sprayed them just to get rid of the bugs, whatever's eaten. I can't see what eaten. This cucumber plant here um, has the mold on it, 
so I dare say that one's finished for the year. Um, these capsicums here are doing pretty good. They um, are putting fruit out, but whether this fruit's going to set, I'm not sure. There was one there that's fallen off, hasn't set. Um, I don't know what you can see. Just up there. One, but yeah, we'll have to see. Um, all these beds here will have cauliflower and broccoli in it this year. I'll probably do these three beds here as cauliflower broccoli. Um, this bed here that's got the cucumbers in, I'll let this bed go until the cucumbers um, really die off. Um, if you haven't sort of noticed, it's really taken off again and started to grow. Uh, another nice cucumber just there. Nice, beautiful cucumber. Uh, that's another one to my collection. I'm not sure if there's any more on here. Another one there. I can pick off. Hiding behind all the leaves. Get him off. Uh, there's another two. Uh, yeah, I've been really happy with the way these cucumbers have been performing. They've just been really um, good consistently picking them off each week. I'm really happy with them. Um, as you can see, you're getting a few off today. So, there's a few more in there. Um, this celery, yeah, it strangely didn't die off during summer, so it was a bit weird. It's just an experiment. I was trying to see if I can actually get them to um, form up a bit better. Uh, in here there's, oh, there's another cucumber hiding. Pick him off. Nice big one. Um, yeah, this is all... All really produced a lot of fruit this year. Um, our expectations of what it was going to produce has just outweighed that. Um, so yeah, we've been pretty happy with it. Look, growing cucumbers in aquaponics is good. I mean, they grow well, as you can see. They don't have any problems growing. Um, as long as you keep the pests down, they're pretty good. So yeah. And still flowering, so I'm still going to get more fruit off these guys. Um, all these beds at the moment are just continuous flow. Uh, continuous flow beds. So they're not actually um, flood and drain. This one here is a bit, a little bit overgrown. Get all that out. So you've got to watch that, yeah. Um, holes don't plug up with any of that stuff so that one's all good again um, these tomatoes on this last bed that was the bed that if you remember where you guys have been following me I put together in a hurry um, she's almost finished there's still a few tomatoes on here but um, yep almost finished I will be ripping this bed out. I won't be staying here. I'm going to put in a small glass house just here and see if I can overwinter some cucumbers um, in the glass house and see how they go. I've got to pick all these tomatoes off yet. Um, I probably won't do that while I'm filming. I'll pick them all off and come back to you. But yeah, that this has produced a lot of kilos in tomatoes. A lot. Um, we've been really impressed this year on what we've got out of this system. Those Dutch buckets down there, I've changed, as you know, pulled the tomatoes out on this side and planted in some snow peas, direct planted. So I'm going to see if they come up. I was just looking the other day and noticed um, on a few of these that they have started... Uh, there's one there. They have started shooting. So we'll see how that goes. 
Um, duckweed, uh, yeah, I will be taking some out today. I'll do a video on that. There's a lot in there at the moment. A bit overgrown. Tomatoes on this side have almost finished. I'm sort of hanging on to them as long as I can. See how many more ripe ones I get off. And then I'll rip them out. And I'll put more peas um, in this side of the system. And these Dutch buckets and see how they go as well. Um, sweet potato still going along. I'm watering it at the moment. She's looking a little bit hot in this weather. Um, still going alright. Be interesting to see if there's anything in there. Um, be very interesting to see. Currently watering, putting some water in it from the system. Just to give it a good water. Um, so that's coming directly from these here into the system. Now what else we got? Our quarantine tank is going well. I've got the baby goldfish in there that hatched this year. Um, all the herbs up here need chopping back so I'll chop them back sometime this week. Um, there's basil and sage and uh, garlic chives in here. Um, seeds I've got in at the moment coming up of the broccoli has come up. So the broccoli plants have come up. Uh, cauliflowers are just starting to poke their head free now. And the... Uh, what else? Climbing beans haven't sort of poked their head. But these are all old seeds. These seeds are probably more than 10 years old, some of them. So I'll just be surprised how many come out of it. Um, that's about all I'm doing at the moment. So I'll finish picking these tomatoes off and I'll give you a look on how much I've picked. And I'll get back to you once I've finished picking the tomatoes, folks. Okay, as you can see, got a good pick of tomatoes and cucumbers. A uh, couple of nice ones there. A nice um, bowl of tomatoes. I think that will be my... I think I'll get one more pick of tomatoes out of this and that will be it for this season. Um, I'll calculate how many kilos or pounds I've got in tomatoes this year. It's a hell of a lot. So, yep. Alright folks, if anyone is new to the channel and likes what I'm doing, um, hit that subscribe button and the bell on the side and YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. Um, there are a lot more videos on aquaponics and my system and um, how I built it from start to here if you would like to have a look. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, helps me out a lot. Alright folks, hope everyone is staying safe and I shall catch you next video. Please stay safe. Catch you later folks.